Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today, if you don't mind, I would very much like to continue on with our journey, our discussions, our discoveries, and our explorations with respect to the recent releases made by the Criterion Collection during this year of 2023. And that brings us to a release which has been designated by Criterion at spine number 1177. This is a designation for a set, or shall I say a multi-disc Blu-ray edition release. So collectively it has been designated at spine number 1177. And it is of a work which is described as being from the year 2020. And the name of the filmmaker artist is... Steve McQueen, and the name of this work is Small Axe. This is the work or series or body of work or anthology from the filmmaker artist Steve McQueen from the year 2020 and that is Small Axe and what Criterion has done this year 2023 they have released this great blu-ray disc set multi-disc blu-ray set Small Axe five films by Steve McQueen and those works are Mangrove and Lover's Rock and Red White and Blue and Alex Weedle and education. So those are the five works that are featured in terms of this series, which is known as Small Acts. In addition to those five works, I should point out that the Criterion Collection has also included a three-part documentary, which is called Uprising. And it also, very much like the five works that are encompassing, or that are uh, comprising, or uh, being part of this series Small Acts, the five works of small acts and the documentary uprising do cover and discuss and examine and further illustrate various aspects of society, culture, politics and history relating to uh, London during the 1960s through the 1980s and specifically uh, London uh, with respect to uh, West Indian uh, culture and society and the individual stories that are very much part of the, uh, say, uh, fabric and uh, tenor, and also the uh, sort of uh, cultural and societal uh, issues uh, that are also very deeply personal and also very uh, intensely political, as well as being very much part of a reflection of a certain time in history. Uh, contextualized and really vividly realized in the forms of these stories while also giving voice and giving rise to uh, various discussion points that I think are incredibly relevant to this very day, uh, so contemporary times. Uh, and so we have a collection of these five films, these five works, under the banner of the title Small Acts. Mangrove, Lover's Rock, Red, White, and Blue, Alex Weedle, and Education. Plus, we have an additional disc which features the documentary Uprising. Uh, and it is a very uh, rich and quite a, an informative work. And is also very much, uh, very compelling and uh, very uh, emotional and very moving. So, uh, in many respects, we're getting five works plus a feature-length documentary. So, six works overall uh, in this wonderful set. So, small acts, five films by Steve McQueen. And uh, you have here a digipack presentation, and those discs are presented in these two separate sleeves. This first sleeve uh, would house the two discs for the small acts, five films, uh, discs one and two. And then the booklet would also go in there as well. I, I've just taken the liberty of removing the booklet for purposes of, of today's um, uh, video discussion. Uh, and then the second sleeve is the sleeve which is for the third disc, which is the Uprising documentary disc. And so that uh, makes up the component parts of this overall set 
from Criterion. Uh, again, it's spy number 1177. A small X, five films by Steve McQueen. And so what I propose to do, my dear friends, is uh, much like other collector sets or multi-disc set, sets or multi or sets which have many different works within the uh, within the um, uh, within the, 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 the set itself, the release itself, I'd like to talk about each of the works separately in their own separate video discussion, plus the supplements that are included, uh, associated with those films uh, in separate videos going forward. And then after that, uh, if it's okay, I'd like to then have a separate video after that, uh, talking about the documentary uprising and any other points that can be made in terms of the set overall. And so I'd like to therefore propose a multi-video discussion, starting with a discussion on Mangrove, uh, which is a very compelling and uh, quite a, a startling and a very effective work indeed. And that effectiveness uh, can be seen, of course, in their own uh, forms and iterations as we move forward throughout the, the whole series, which is small acts. So uh, that, by my count, that means that after this video, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, plus a, uh, another video. So six more videos, my dear friends, if that's okay with you, uh, discussing the works that can be found within this great set from Criterion, uh, Steve McQueen's series, Small Acts. So uh, I'd like to therefore uh, talk to uh, in later video discussions about uh, the supplements and also some aspects of the packaging and the booklet as well uh, and the like and also the uh, some other aspects of the Criterion release which I think overall is quite a strong release indeed but we'll get into some of those specifics my dear friends if you're interested uh, as we go through uh, the uh, the the video discussions uh, with more detail uh, going forward. So, my dear friends, if you are interested, please join me. Uh, won't you join me? Won't you join us in uh, discussion of this series, Small Acts? Let me say in conclusion that uh, I this release from Criterion was the first time I was able to watch this series, uh, to watch these five films. And, uh, and also the Uprising documentary. Uh, so uh, it was my first time to watch these works, and I was uh, very taken aback by, uh, by their power and by their real dramatic effectiveness and the emotional heart and sincerity uh, that are placed within each and every one of these works. Uh, in their own special and unique ways, but also that seems to form a type of connective fiber or fabric, uh, which has a sense of a, a grand or a great or a wide-reaching uh, view of history that is also always, always, always keeping, uh, keeping a great importance and a great relevance and a great respect for the individual stories of these people that we meet and so uh, throughout the course of these various films. So I find that balance to be very striking and I find it to be uh, incredibly moving and this was also a period of history and also various aspects of the society, culture and politics uh, of London that was something that I was not uh, directly familiar with so uh, it also became a place for me to uh, learn and to grow and to uh, to study and also a jumping off point for uh, further say explorations or ex uh, further avenues for my own uh, uh, better understanding of uh, this period of history and life on the 1960s and through the 1980s in London so uh, this in that way also created or formed the basis of I think a very very a uh, multifaceted uh, rewarding viewing experience for me so I'm very, very grateful for the, this great chance to watch uh, the series Small Acts, uh, also related to that, uh, watching the documentary Uprising. So I'll try in the course of upcoming videos on this channel to discuss a little bit as to why I feel that way in the context of each of the works uh, that we go forward with. So my dear friends, in that spirit, uh, won't you join me? Won't you join us in the next uh, videos, which we will? Uh, I will try to upload uh, as soon as I can, uh, and uh, we can therefore further the discussion about this set, uh, which is Small Acts, five films by Steve McQueen. 
All right, my dear friends, so thank you very much. So I'll see you at the next Small Acts video discussion, and maybe, hopefully, I might see you also at other uh, video discussions here on this channel, Criterion and otherwise. And so until the next video, my dear friends, stay strong, stay safe, and cheers.